Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to discuss a response surface methodology technique that has been implied for the optimization of the data. So let's go towards the data. So on the page number 26 of this research paper, we got the data that we have four different factors with the coded name A, B, C, D and the technical name of the factors are PP, MPS, size, pH, PAC, dosage, PAM, dosage. So based upon this, okay. the next, next important thing is that we have to use this data in the column low as well as in the column high. So let's go towards the mini tab in order to generate the response surface methodology design. So in the mini tab, go to the stat, then go to DOE, then go to response surface, create a response surface design, select, we have four different number of four different factors, then go to design. In the research paper, we have 30 observations. I will tell you this a uh, little bit later. And then so select this one. Okay, you can see there are two 30, 30 return. So we, I'm selecting uh, the second one because we have two blocks of data uh, in the given design. Then you will see that there are four cube points and two axial points in this uh, type of design. Then click OK. After that, go to the factors. Here you will have to enter the name of the factor. So I will enter A dash P P M P as and the lowest value for this is uh, 0.85 and the highest is 2.05 let me write it there so it is 0.85 and then 2.05 like this so i will enter the data for rest of all of the values so like this i have entered the whole data all of the factor names and their levels after that go to the options and in the option please uncheck this randomized run Whenever you're going for the first time, this has been already checked. So please uncheck it because it will greatly help you to enter the data in your design and to understand it. What are your axial points, cube points, factorial points. So I strongly recommend this. Then click OK and after that click OK. So all of this you will get such a design. So this is a summary table and you will uh, see the whole design from clicking on this window tab. So then I will have to enter the data. The data has been available on page 27 of this research paper. I have inputted the data predicted as well as actual values. So after inputting the data, we will go to again stat, DOE, response surface, then click on analyze response surface design. Here there are two data types. I am just only doing for the predicted data and the same uh, you have to repeat the process for the actual data if you want to do it. Then go to uh, terms, leave them as it is. Okay. Then go to options, leave it as, click OK only. In the stepwise, uh, in order to get the research paper design, we will have to select the method of the forward selection. However, in the start, if you select the none, you will get all of the results. Means you will get all of the significant and insignificant results in your uh, final results. Then go to graphs leave as it is however it's strongly recommended to do the click on the uh, normal one click ok then go to uh, the results we need simple tables i strongly recommend you to search on also for the expanded tables it is quite good because they give us the results in a very detailed way and then go to the storage okay we need nothing so far in this video because i am only interested in the anova table so I got this uh, ANOVA table, okay? And then I will let you know that what is what are the results I have in this research paper. So in this research paper, we have the final results. You can see here only A, B, and D. There is nothing C. So these are my initial results. For in order to get uh, see the any uh, only results only output, click on this. So these are all of the results and look and see you can also getting the percentage contribution column that's an additional column in as compared to the simple tables. So in order to get the results similar to the research paper again go to the stat then go to DOE response surface analyze response surface design only click on the stepwise and in the stepwise please select this forward selection. Okay, and alpha value to enter 0.25, click OK, and you can see upon, uh, when we click the OK, we will get the results now as similar to the research paper. 
So here I have only a, b, d. Then uh, for the scale term, I have a square, b square, d square. So these are the simpler results that you got as similar to the research paper. You can see there are a minor uh, difference in the values. Just like for the A, the sum of scale is 286.89. However, in the research paper, you have, we have 287.04. Then for the B, I have 35.35.04 and here I have 35.04. Okay, they are similar. Similarly for the D, 18.375 and here I have 18.37. So we got these results. So now in order to get the contour plots, again go to the stat, then DOE response surface, click on the contour plots. Okay, and you get the response for the uh, predicted because I have analyzed the data for the predicted only. And on the x-axis, I'm now in the start, I'm going to, uh, because we can also only make the control plot between two variables at a time. So here you will have to select the name of the variable. So A, B, D, because these are only significant. And similarly on the y-axis, I have A, B, D. We have, they have eliminated the C because that was insignificant. Then, uh, in, go to the settings. We have a D for the PEM setting. It's okay. No issue. Click only uh, go to the options. If you want to add a specific title to the to your research paper, then uh, enter it or otherwise click uh, leave it as it is. Then click OK and this is your control plot. So far, I think that you have liked this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel. If you have any problem, you can contact me on my mobile number as well as in WhatsApp, uh, my email address. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Bye.